Hello everyone. I hope you're all safe and well. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Home Spa Night. I hope you've enjoyed all the activities so far. I'm going to be taking you through a really lovely homemade face mask tutorial. So I know um, I found it quite difficult getting access to the same skincare that I might have used um, before COVID-19, um, just as kind of online sales and things have became a wee bit more tricky and a wee bit more subscribed. So I've been looking for ways to kind of keep my skin in tip top condition and I've came up with this lovely face mask. So I'm gonna share it with you. I hope you will find that it is of benefit to your skin as well. It should be nice and moisturising and nice and scrubby at the same time. Um, so before we get going, there is a couple of things that you will need to grab. Um, so I will just talk you through them and then I'll give you like maybe a few minutes so that you can kind of get them together if you haven't gotten them together already. So for the face mask itself, you're going to need an orange, a banana, either some honey or maple syrup or agave syrup, something like that. And ideally rolled oats. If you don't have oats, then you could use something like ground coffee, desiccated coconuts, perfect. Um, some oatmeal and um, basically something that's scrubby, but not too scrubby. <laughs> um, you're also going to need a knife, um, a chopping board, a couple of bowls. So one to make the face mask in and the other to put water in further down the line. If you do have like a cleanser and a toner um, available, that would also be super helpful. Um, and then it will be a flannel or cotton wool or something to remove the face mask with um, and a small towel. So if you just want to grab those bits and pieces now, um, I'll give you a few minutes to do that and then we can get started. Great, so now that you've got all your bits and pieces together, um, we'll start by making the face mask. So you're gonna need the orange, the banana, the maple syrup and the oats for this. Um, so just gather them and get yourself set up with your chopping board and your bowl. Um, so just take a minute to do that. So first things first is you wanna peel your banana. And um, what I tend to do is just break the banana into three or four bits and pop it in the bowl. So you're gonna to want to mash this banana. So I think I we also need to grab a fork. Um, so if you wanna grab a fork now as well, 
that would be perfect. So banana into the bowl and then just give it a wee mash. Lovely. So obviously the banana bread craze has been sweeping across the nation so hopefully you still have a banana. Um, if you don't then you could use something that's got a similar texture so maybe like um, mashed sweet potato would work well. Bananas are really good for your skin because they're full of moisture and they're nice and softening too so really really lovely. So you want to uh, end up with something that looks a little bit like that. Now you're going to add your orange juice. So citrus fruits are really good for the skin because they've got lots of vitamins in them. But they're also really brightening and cleansing. So the kind of acid that's in the citrus juice will help give your skin a little lift. So if your skin is feeling a little bit tired, then um, this can be like a really good way just to reinvigorate it. So you only need one half um, of the orange. If you don't have an orange, you could also use like a lemon or a lime. Um, they would work quite similarly. So don't worry too much if you don't have an orange or probably even just some orange juice as well out of the out of a carton. Um, just a splash would be terrific. So just squeeze this into the banana. Lovely. And if you do have a spoon or a fork, just give this a wee stir. So yeah, that's what you're aiming for at the moment. Next up, it is the honey or the maple syrup. Now, both of these ingredients are really good for your skin because they're nice and moisturizing. If you're using honey, an added benefit is that um, honey is antibacterial and anti -scent antiseptic there we go and um, it's antiseptic so if you are finding you're having any breakouts or anything at the moment it should help and um, keep them at bay so just a nice little squeeze of this in there give it a wee stir and then you want to add your scrub so I'm using rolled oats but as I said oh gosh as I said you could use um Desiccated coconut, ground coffee, um, ground rice also works. Um, anything that's got like a nice gentle level of scrub. So this will be an exfoliant um, and it will help open up your pores. Why I'm using oats are oats are nice and soothing and calming. So they're also really good for your skin if you're prone to any redness and irritation. So you can also, um, so that's a really nice benefit of them. Um, so, but like I say, if you are struggling to get hold of these things, just anything that is natural and has a degree of scrubbiness to it would be perfect. Let's give that a stir. It's up to you how much oats you put in. Um, just kind of just like if you want a heavier kind of face mask, then add a wee bit more. If you want something a wee bit looser, then I would normally go for like a handful. Great. This is what you're aiming for, um, like a nice kind of mix of banana and oatmeal in there. Um, it should be quite loose and um, it shouldn't be too heavy, but like I say, if you wanted a heavier face mask, then pop some more oats in. So that's ready to go now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a few minutes just to get yourself set up. Um, and then I will show you how to apply this and how to take it off as well.
Great, so our face mask is ready now. Um, before you apply a face mask, you want to just do a couple of things to prep your skin. So I would always use a cleanser um, to take off any makeup. Um, and even if you haven't worn makeup today, like it's always a good um, idea just to pop a wee cleanser on to remove kind of any excess sweat, if you've been exercising, pollution, any kind of impurities that might impact on your skin absorbing the goodness out of this face mask. So apply a cleanser first. If you don't have like an oil-based cleanser um, at the moment, then just give your face a wee wash with some warm water. That would be perfect. Just pop some of that on. So you could use like an oil-based cleanser like I'm using or micellar water is perfect too. So just have a wee cleanse. I'm always amazed by how much everyday dirt gets on your skin. It's something that I find so interesting because you, you know, you don't realise that when you're walking outside or in amongst cars that all of that has an impact. Great. And then if you do have a toner water available, um, just a few sprays of toner water onto your, um, your flannel or your cotton wool, um, just to remove any excess um, cleanser as well, will just help keep your skin in tip-top condition. Great. So I've removed my glasses, I've removed my ring as well because I don't want to get this kind of stuck um, in there. So if you've got on earrings or anything, now is a perfect time to take them off. If you have long hair like mine and you want to tie it up, I'd recommend doing that or move it out of the way um, just because you don't want to get uh, your hair full of face mask if you can. If you've got like a band or anything, put a band on to keep those little straggly bits out of the way too. So for applying your face mask, you want to use a nice generous layer. Um, so be quite generous with this. So what I normally tend to do is grab the bowl and then with my chopping board, use my fork or my spoon just to apply some, like a, table, a good tablespoonful onto the board. I find that that's quite a good way to kind of keep control of this um, and make sure that you're using a decent amount, but not to end up with too much in your hands at one time so it becomes quite difficult to apply. Then you want to grab just maybe like a 50p sized amount of it to start with the initial application. So we're going to do that now. So grab 50p size. Oh, there we go. So like that amount. And then just start to apply it. So just apply it quite gently. Make sure you get an even coverage all over. So you should be able to feel the effects of the banana in there. The banana is basically the, like the sticking agent, I guess is how I would describe it, along with the honey or the maple syrup. That's what makes it kind of stick to your skin. Um, and then you'll be able to feel the scrubbiness pooling through from the oats as well. So it's a nice gentle scrub, so um, it shouldn't be too irritating. I should say that if you have any reservations about popping this on your skin, if you've got any kind of skin sensitivity or anything like that, um, don't. This face mask will work really nice as either like a hand soak or a hand scrub. So you could do that too. Um, I know a lot of us have dry skin um, at the moment because we've been washing our hands so much. So do feel free just to do that. Um, apply an even layer across your hands um, and leave it to soak in during the time that we're letting this soak into our faces. So hopefully by now you will have an even application across your face. If that is the case, perfect. Just pop whatever, um, whatever excess you have um, back onto your board. If you've got your, oh gosh, if you've got your flannel available there, just use that to wipe any excess off your hands. And then we're gonna have a five minute break just to let this face mask soak in and do its magic. So I would advise you to and encourage you to relax and um, sit back in your chair or if you want to move to somewhere a wee bit more comfortable, um, do that now. Close your eyes and just 
Take five minutes just to focus on getting the most out of this face mask and treating yourself. So everybody close your eyes now, lean back and I'll see you in five minutes. everyone welcome back if you still have your eyes closed at the moment now is your time to open them so just open them gradually take some time and um, I find a couple of deep breaths is always quite nice so just in through the nose out through the mouth and just slowly come back to us and um, I should say 
Thank you very much to my little sister Marin for doing the musical interlude there. Um, it was a lovely piece, so thank you Marin. Um, and if you are now all ready, we can get going with um, removing our face masks. So I have grabbed some warm water. Um, so if you want to do that now, that would be great. So just grab yourself a wee bowl of warm water. I'll give you a minute or so to do that. While you're doing that, I should say, you might have noticed that you have some face mask left in your bowl. That's fine. Um, you can pop it in the fridge. It will last for a few days. Um, or you can use it for breakfast. So what I tend to do with anything I have left over is just use it um, in the base of my porridge the next day. You know, it's really delicious. It's got that banana in there. Um, orange juice, maple syrup, it's nice and kind of rich and creamy. So it makes a really nice breakfast base. So um, you can eat it too. So you can kind of do what you want. Perfect. We should all have our water now. So grab either your cotton wool, flannel, um, either of what you have is perfect. And then when you're taking off a face mask, you always want to go in circular motions because that's the least abrasive way for the skin. So just nice and gentle, a gentle kind of sweep um, working across your face. So we'll do that now. So like I said, nice gentle sweep. You can do this quite mindfully. There's no need to rush. We've got plenty of time. You should be able to feel the benefits of the oats now. You'll start to feel their kind of gentle scrubbiness. Um, and the exfoliant in there is really good for opening up your pores, making sure that they're nice and cleansed. So just take your time to do this in nice circular motions. Like I say, no rush. Great. If, like me, you're finding that you are knocking banana all over your legs, you could pop a wee towel um, just onto your lap to kind of help catch that too. So do do that now if you're finding you're having a wee bit of difficulty like with this. Great. Nice circular motions. Fabulous. There we are. Once you're happy that you've removed all your face mask, um, I hope you're finding that your skin feels nice and refreshed um, and moisturized. Um, I'd always just pop on a little bit of toner um, just to kind of remove any kind of excess that might be left on the skin and just to give the skin a little bit more hydration after this. So just cover your eyes with a few spritzes and then your skin will just absorb that. Fantastic. If you do have a moisturiser available, it's a good opportunity to pop on some moisturiser too. The toner will help give an even application of that. So just grab some of your moisturiser and just work that into your skin. So this can be any moisturiser that you like to use, um, whatever is best for your skin. But just make sure you get a nice even application on there too. Wonderful. Great, perfect. And now your skin has had a lovely wee pamper. I hope you all feel like your skin has been refreshed and rejuvenated and that you've enjoyed taking this time just to relax and treat yourself really, I guess. Um, at the moment, it's quite difficult, I find, finding time to do these kinds of things. So I hope that you found this beneficial. Um, do keep going with the rest of the spa night activities and if there is anything you need at all during this um, during this evening or further down the line, please do give Aberdeen Sydney a call. Thanks so much guys!